Hi, this is Ron with OptimusMedia.com and we're going to show you real quick how to set up your email in Mozilla Thunderbird. I've already downloaded Thunderbird from GetThunderbird.com. If you haven't done that, go ahead and do that now. And we saved it to our desktop, so we're going to double click on it and extract it. And we click Next and Next and Install. It installs pretty quickly. And then we click Finish. Now, Thunderbird 3 tries to connect for you the first time you connect. Well, we don't want to import anything. And as soon as it recognizes that you don't have an email address set up, it will try to set one up for you, which is smart. If you've already got one in Thunderbird and this is a new email address, you can click on Create a New Account down here, but we're going to zoom over here and type our name and our example email address, and we're going to enter our password, and we're going to click continue. Now this is a nice feature. Thunderbird tries to set up your email account settings for you and does a pretty good job of that. I just would prefer that you use a POP account rather than an IMAP. If you want to know the details, go ahead and ask me about that and I can explain the difference between POP and IMAP and what, what the advantages and disadvantages are. But basically, to keep this short, just change it to POP. Then you're doing one more change. Down here, the outgoing server, you're changing to 26. You're then going to retest the configuration. And you'll see you'll have green lights. You're going to click create account. It's going to ask you for a security exception. You can buy your own certificate with your domain name so that you don't get that, uh, but you don't have to. There's no need for that. It's just money that you don't have to spend. Uh, again, we're going to confirm security for the second time. And then we create account. It's going to warn us the first few times we connect or first during the setup process. And then it's going to be all good. So I've already sent an email over here to test that incoming's working. Let's reply to this. We're going to click reply. And I have your test. Send. It's going to bring up that security warning. Tell it to confirm. And again, the first time you connect to the incoming server, you'll have to do that. The first time you connect to the outgoing server, you'll have to do that, and you're not going to have to do that again. But you'll see that your email did fail because of that. Just once we've confirmed it, we can send again, and then it's good. Your email's all set up. A little confusing, but that's what the screencast is for. If you get stuck, that's it. Don't hesitate to give us a call, uh, either by phone, or you can Skype us, or you can just leave a message, email us, whatever you want to do whatever works best for you. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, let us know. Thank you.